Hey guys, it's Miss Kelly. I'm coming back to you today with your next Awana lesson um, for the TNT Boys and Girls. So this is gonna be section 4.5 in your books. And we start on page 224 today. Um, this week is based on discovery of faithfulness. So our memory verse this week is gonna be Colossians 1.10. And that says that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. So let's discover what it means to be faithful. This week we're going to discover what it means to be faithful. And as you learn about God, you'll start to trust, obey, and love him more and more. You'll be faithful and walk in a manner that is worthy of God, which is what our verse speaks about today. So when you play follow the leader, which you guys have probably played, might be too young, might be too old. You guys might be too old for that game now. But you have to know who the leader is and what she or, or he is doing. Um, when you're being faithful, you're not just following any leader, you're following God. So look up and read the verses below, underline the things you are commanded to do, and circle the things that God will do if you are faithful. So our verse tonight in question one, we're to look up Psalms 37 verses three through six. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land and verify, verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgments as the noonday. So, in if you write those verses down, we're supposed to underline the things you are commanded to do. So I'm going to go over a little bit of the things that we're commanded to do. Um, the first is trust in the Lord and do good. And then un, also underline, so shalt thou dwell. Um, delight thyself also in the Lord is another one you want to underline because that's a commandment that we delight ourselves in the Lord. Another commandment is commit thy way unto the Lord and trust also in him. So our commandments are to trust him is a big one. We have to trust him. That's a commandment. Um, delighting thyself is another one and committing yourself unto God. The, it says circle the things that God will do if you are faithful. So God said he will give thee the desires of thy heart. He shall bring it to pass and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light. So those are the things that um, he will do if we are faithful to him. So when we follow God, we're being faithful to him. We're saying he is trustworthy because he is God. God wants you to trust him with all of your heart and everything that happens in your life. When we acknowledge or know and recognize God in our lives, we show trust and have faith. So our second question is, look up and read 2 Chronicles 31, 20 through 21. So I'm going to turn there in our book, 2 Chronicles. Second Chronicles 31, verses 20 and 21. So that says, and thus did Hezekiah, throughout all Judah and wrought that which was good and right and truth before the Lord his God. And in every work that he began in the service of the house of God and in the law and in the commandments to seek his God, he did it with all his heart and he prospered. So the question was, was Hezekiah faithful to God? And the answer by reading that verse is obviously yes. Hezekiah was a king that did everything for God with his whole entire heart, even when it was hard. He was faithful and God was with him and made him a successful king. So there will be good and bad days, obviously. Um, if we remember who God is and what he has done, it will help us to be faithful and to trust him. Being faithful is a daily choice to know and follow Jesus. So every day when you get up, you make that choice whether you're going to follow Jesus or not. You can't follow or be faithful to someone that you don't know. So obviously we want to learn more about God. So how do you need to be more faithful to God? Those um, questions, the answers will vary to that because it's based on your own um, heart. How do you need to be more faithful to God? Um, I could be more faithful to God by reading the Bible, by praying more, by seeking him more. Um, those are all things that I strive to do better each day. So that goes through our question and answer. Um, Back to our verse. Our verse for today is Colossians 1.10. Again, say it with me. Um, Colossians 1.10. That ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, 
being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. So if you guys are ready and you studied your verse, um, you can have your parents record you and send it to us leaders, or you can call us on the phone um, and we'll be happy to sign off for you. We miss you guys. We love you. Um, we wish we could be back in club right now, but unfortunately that's just not the case. So this is our only way of getting through to you guys until we can be back together again. So again, feel free to reach out to any of us. Um, my number is 302-740-2697. Um, feel free to reach out to me and hopefully we will all be together in club again soon. So love you guys. Have a great day. See you later.